And then there's what happened to a popular video arcade on St. Claude Avenue. Police eventually caught up with the alleged attacker, but not until he had gone to the location four times and did nearly $50,000 in damage. Investigative reporter Mike Perlstein has the story. It was tournament night Sunday at the CK Video Arcade on St. Claude. When a customer started acting erratically, owner Judah Lee refunded the man his money and asked him to leave. At which point he left and then came back 20 minutes later and attached a U-lock, like a bicycle U-lock to the door, locking everybody inside. After Lee ushered his 15 customers to safety through a back door and closed up, things got worse, much worse. But he would return three more times in the evening to basically smash out every screen, every television, all the, all the glass pane windows. Before the attacker was done with his rampage, he even got to this gas meter, all of these side windows, and even this phone box. Lee said he was at home watching the carnage remotely through the arcade's video cameras. I was shaking, like, you know, like I just felt violated. You know, like I spent six years of my life on this place. It's been a labor of love the entire time, and just to watch so much of it just go away in just one moment. Lee called police several times, but the attacker left before they arrived. After he returned to do more damage Monday night, friends reported seeing the man in the French Quarter. And went into the police station, was told that there weren't any available units, you know, and then went you know, down the street, kind of away from where he was and tried to flag a cop car down for an hour and just didn't see a single one. Police eventually arrested this man, 30-year-old Mitchell McNeely. To come back and take all of this from me and my customers and my community, you know, like it's just, I don't understand it. All Lee and his business partners can do now is pick up the pieces. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. McNeely was booked with false imprisonment, aggravated assault, criminal mischief, and criminal damage to property. Meanwhile, a GoFundMe account has been set up to help Lee and his co-owners recover some of their losses.